I am here today with my weekly favorites. These are some products that I've been really loving this week. I kind of switched up a few things and um, just wanted to kind of share with you some of my favorite products. So the first is going to be a foundation and I have a first impressions video up on my channel. I will link it down below. And when I did the first impressions, I used it maybe a few days after that and kind of set it aside and kind of moved on to another foundation. And you know, I have a quite a few foundations that I rotate through. So this week I decided to pull out a different one that I had been using the week prior, which I used the Revlon Color Stay Whipped a lot last week, pretty much every day last week. So this week I pulled out the Lancome Tint Visionaire Skin Correcting Makeup Duo. It's for dark spots, pores, and fine lines. There is a foundation on the bottom, and then there is a spot corrector on top. And my color is in the shade 210 Buff Neutral, and it's what I'm wearing today. I really like it. I remember filming, I don't remember when the video was filmed, the first impressions. I don't know if it was kind of like more in the winter and my skin was maybe a little dry, but I felt it was really kind of matte and a little bit drying on my skin. But I have been wearing it this week and I love it. I'm wearing it, like I said today, it does not settle into fine lines. It doesn't settle into pores. It doesn't accentuate pores. Uh, the more that I've been playing with it this week, the more I'm really, really loving it. So I do have a first impressions, which like I said, I will link it down below. But this is a great foundation. I, uh, my friend Natalie or Flower Bomb 31 was the one who told me about this and said it's like her favorite foundation. Like she just loves it. It's like her go-to. And it's quite expensive, but when you think about it, you are getting a foundation and then you are getting a spot corrector, which is the perfect shade for the foundation. So it's kind of nice having a two-in-one product, easy to travel with. And the concealer is really good too. It just is a little bit more of a tackier concealer. So I really like this for spot concealing, which it's meant it's a spot corrector. But I do like it for blemishes because it's the perfect color to blend in with the foundation. And then, you know, I just use my regular under eye concealer, which is the MAC Pro Longwear, which is almost gone. Like I can see I'm like down to here, which is a sad, sad day which means I have to use my other concealers before I can buy, buy a new one. But I've been loving that. Sorry I went on for a long time, but I've noticed more how much I like it than I did in the first impression. So really love that. Um, as for my like face powder that I've been using, I'm still using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I love this. It just goes well with every foundation. So it's kind of fixed my powder drama. I really like this. I have so many other powders that I'm trying to make myself use to get out of my collection. Um, I might just end up selling them. I still have to do my blog sale or my Instagram sale, but I um, haven't got around to that yet. But yes, I love this. It's been my go-to powder for probably the last month, actually. A blush that I've been wearing all week. This is the only blush I've been wearing, and I'm wearing it today. It's Max Gentle, and it's a really beautiful kind of rosy, I don't know, a rosy pink. Has a beautiful sheen to it, as you can see. Just a really pretty color. I usually would tend to gravitate this towards this more in like the fall winter time, but I've been wearing it all week and I really, really love it. It's so pretty on the cheeks. It's not too much. It gives a beautiful glow without being too shimmery and it just blends beautifully. So again, this one is gentle. Of course, my Real Techniques little sponge here, this poor little thing is like so dirty. I've, I use the Masters brush cleaner to clean it and it cleans it, but it's just stained from all of the like long wearing foundations and stuff. But I've been, I love this. I use it for foundation. I use it for my under eye concealer. Sometimes I use it for cream blushes, um, cream contours. I mean, I just really love this sponge. So if you don't want to splurge on the beauty blender, I found this works just as well. Uh, it's a little bit of a different shape, but I actually kind of like it because I will use this side here for my foundation. And then when I go to use my concealer, see how it's like kind of like chopped off right there. I just find it makes it really nice having that chopped off side and like being able to use that edge to get under your eyes. I really, really like that. Some brushes that I have been using every single day for, I don't know, it's probably been well over a month now, um, are these four brushes here. This first one is the MAC 242. It's just a small flat panel brush. I've been using this for my um, lid color. I was using the 239 from MAC, which I do love, but I've been using this one and I really like it. I think it works really, really well with pigments because it's really small, it's densely packed, and it just puts that color on so nicely. I just love it. I've also been using the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. It's just a big fluffy brush. This is my transition brush, so I use this for whatever color I'm gonna put as my transition color or to blend out any harsh lines. I just love this. Hmm, there's a hair. 
I just love this brush for crease work. Also, the C412 Deluxe Pointed Crease Brush. I'm pr oh, this is from Makeup Geek. And it is a more of a pointed brush. I love this for more detailed work in the crease. Like if I'm wanting to put a dark color in this outer part and then blend it in, that's what I use this brush for. Again, it's the Deluxe Pointed Crease from Makeup Geek. I'll link that down below too. And then the MAC 212, which is just a flat definer brush. I love this for any under eye um, smudging on my lower lash line. It's like my go-to brush. So these four brushes have been staples. I use them every single day. Absolutely, hands down, love them so much. Um, as for my eyeshadow, I've been using my Inglot shadows like crazy this week. Um, I have a whole video swatching all these Inglot shadows, which I'll link down below. I've been linking it in the last few videos because I know I've mentioned these shadows a lot. Um, today I have kind of like a combination of these purples in my crease. Um, that would be, let's see if I can get the colors for you. I have these all swatched in a video, so I'm not going to swatch them. If you would like to see that video, like I said, I'll link it down below. But 334 and also um, 392, these are both matte. And then I have this kind of like brownie plum color in my outer V area. And this one is... 423 and then for my lid I have a combination of I guess I did use this one this sh kind of golden champagne color this is in number 08 and I mixed it with a like yellowy matte color which is this one right here and this color is color number 313 so again, I will link the video if you want to see swatches of all these because they are all in that video. But I've been loving my Inglot shadows. I had somebody ask me like what are some of my favorite Inglot shadows. Watch that video because I swatched them all. My favorites may be different from your favorites, so um, it's kind of up to you which ones you like. But if you want to see a tutorial on this look, let me know. I thought it was quite springy. It's like um, a pale yellow and then like some purpley colors in the outer crease area and I thought it was quite fun. And then for my lips, I just kind of messed around with the fun combo today. Um, this combo is the lip liner from Urban Decay in Venom, which is more of a berry cranberry color. Uh, really pretty, but I decided, usually I'd go for more like a purpley liner if I was gonna do these, this combination, but I switched it up and did a little bit more of a kind of berry cranberry. So I lined the outer portion of my lips with that. I didn't fill them all the way and I just lined it and then kind of feathered it in a little bit. And then I put brazenberry from Maybelline um, and I blended that from the lip you know from the lip liner in a little bit and then I just put in the center of my lips hot plum from Maybelline so that is what is on my lips just kind of like an ombre ish effect to that you know nature is what I what I did um, and I think that is all for my favorites that's all the like new products that I've been using this week that I really liked I don't have any fails um, if you're wondering what I'm wearing I'm wearing twisted silver this is the elegance necklace this is the muscle muscle necklace or the flat iron necklace I will link it down below which one it is um, then the XO classic XO bracelet and the rope bracelet is what I'm wearing this is just a mustard yellow tank from Target and I think this like little lacy thing I think that is from um, Rue 21 actually so and my nail color a lot of people are asking about my nail color from my last video it's boom boom room from Essie so that is all my favorites I would love to know what you guys have been loving lately and how you guys are all doing and uh, leave any video requests down below I haven't posted very many videos lately because I've been like running out of ideas for videos um, I don't I don't know how that's possible but I have so if you have any tutorials specific tutorials or recreated looks or something you would like to see or any like top favorite videos let me know in the comments down below and I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you later bye